All right, everybody, welcome back to Digital Marketer's Social Media Marketing Certification. My name is Russ Henneberry, and in this step, we're gonna get into lesson three. We're gonna get into social influencing, which is exciting because social influencing is the way that we indirectly affect sales, all right? So, it, you know, it, it's gonna be one of those things where if you try to tie your uh, social media influencing back to direct sales, you're gonna have a hard time. But you can be sure and be certain that doing social influencing does indirectly affect the bottom line. But we're not gonna try to uh, jump in here and um, apply goals to, to your social uh, influencing that tie directly back to revenues or costs. Instead, we are going to be looking at you know, how are we indirectly affecting the important things in our business by establishing authority on the social web? And, you know, a lot of social influencing is going to tie back to content marketing, which, in fact, we have an entire certification on here at Digital Marketer. Um, but we are going to get into a lot of the concepts of content marketing that we get into in the content marketing certification in this certification as well. So what does good social influencing look like, right? Um, you know, you've got, uh, you've got here where this person is tweeting out. Uh, they're retweeting Rosetta Stone and they're saying, those entering the workforce with second language fluency can expect an additional 10 to 15% pay increase. And it, when you click on this link, you're gonna be taken over to a, a Rosetta Stone article that's gonna be talking about you know, the importance of a second language and how much more money you can make, right? So this is a piece of content being spread around by Rosetta Stone that is actually uh, proving to people that they should be using Rosetta Stone's product. Now, by the way, I actually sell something that could help you learn a second language, right? So that's what I mean when I say indirectly, right? You don't see them saying, um, come buy Rosetta Stone so that you can make 10 to 15% off or 10, 15% more money uh, because you know a second language. Instead, they're just creating content that says, hey, look, there's been some research, and that research shows that second language fluency, uh, you'll make more money. And it's implied, right, through, through the way that they set up their content marketing that, oh, and by the way, we actually sell a product that can make you that extra 10 to 15% because we will teach you that second language. So, you know, this is a use of content and you can see that this person actually shared out that piece of content through a retweet. And that's what good social influencing looks like. You put out authoritative, relevant content and people amplify it for you, right? They pass it around the web. So influencing leads to engagement, right? So you get more social amplification of your content, you get your message out there uh, more easily. Influencing leads to traffic, all right? So you're gonna get more traffic if you have a high caliber social influencing program. You can expect more web traffic. But the important thing, you know, maybe more important than the other two is that influencing leads to mindshare, all right? So that people start to understand what your organization does and, you know, what products do you offer? What solutions do you offer, right? So when you influence, when you put content out there, you start to occupy people's minds in terms of what you do. Right? You keep showing up over and over and over again with content about you know, uh, whatever you know, uh, your company does. Like in this example here, we've got General Electric using Pinterest to um, you know, set up Pinterest boards where you've got, you know, take a look at some of these things I've circled here. Uh, you've got badass machines. You've got brilliance in motion. You've got DIY science. You've got that's genius. These are boards that General Electric has set up on the social web in a channel called Pinterest. And they just have lots of Im images of innovation, like this one on the bottom left, uh, science and you know, things like that. What do you think General Electric wants to be known for? 
You know, they want to be known for creating innovative machines. They want to be known for being, you know, on the cutting edge of science and things like that. So, you know, when we talk about mindshare, you know, you're talking about using the social web to, to start to, you know, brand yourself in the minds of, of the people that you are connected to on the web. Now, in the next step, we're going to be talking about the goals of social influencing. We'll see you in the next video.